You're probably wondering how I was able to shut down an entire motorway just to pray Maghrib while flexing, being with Bella Hadid, and of course, almost getting arrested. But to understand this, we need to go back. The current violence between Israelis and Palestinians hasn't been this bad for many years, with the UN warning the conflict could escalate into full-scale war. What we need is more than the secession of violence. We need sanctions against Israel in order to put pressure on one of our time's apartheid regimes. Palestinians are, at best, third-class citizens in the nation of their birth. The idea that it's even remotely controversial to call what Israel has imposed on Palestinians a form of apartheid is laughable. I've seen enough! I couldn't just sit around eating chips all day, silently watching while my brothers and sisters die. Never. It was time for me to perform jihad. Uh, against my nafs first. I mean, there's no way that this genocide would ever be finished without us praying the hajjit. Inshallah, come off with the hajjit. The hajjit is the key. The hajjit is the key to free Palestine as well. Protest, raise awareness, but also the hajjit, guys. But I knew I had to physically do something to help my brothers and sisters as well, besides just using my social media accounts to raise awareness. Then this flyer came my way. A super secret Palestine rally that I was the only one invited to. <laughs> Perfect. So we get to the Palestine protest and it's just me and like four or five other people. So you know we made our presence felt immediately. Let's go. Go. Let's go. This. Learn about this. Learn about this. Be a little uncomfortable. Be a little uncomfortable. MashaAllah, let's go. Let's go. MashaAllah, In the streets. In the streets. In the streets. That's it. We're in the streets. It's over. It's over. We're in the streets now. We're in the streets now. That's it. We're going to stop. We're going to free Palestine, inshallah. I had seen enough. It was time for me to speak to my Jewish brothers and get in their head a little. Find out what's going on. I said, who stood with the Jews during the Holocaust? Who's standing with the Palestinians during the Holocaust? We, we have to stand. We have to stand. That's it. We owe it to ourselves. They owe it, it to ourselves. They, they, our they, they know. They know. Perfect. We had gotten the Jews on our side. No way an Israeli would dare to come to this positive event. I was wrong. No way. You harm my people in Palestine, and now you come over here in my city and harm us here too? That won't happen. No, but seriously, these Zionist pigs became extremely aggressive. <laughs> I felt the morale of the crowd slipping. It was time for me to launch operations head and shoulders. We done it. We felt the energy of the crowd. We brought the morale back and we were ready to march and hit the streets to let them know what we were all about. I mean, this doesn't even make sense. How is it that this dog supports Palestine, but this dog does not? Just goes to show you how some people are lower than animals. As we continue to protest, do you know who else is against Israel? Our partners in crime, Qur'anli. Guys, download this Qur'an habits building app to help you become addicted to reading the Qur'an. Link in the description. So we marched up the streets of New York City, showing our solidarity with Palestine. Until this dude stole my moves. I mean, how was he going to jack my swagger without my permission? He snaked me on my own move. 
But before I had a chance to climb up and defeat this brother to reclaim my place on the throne, um, things got out of control. They shut us down. The Twelve saw our power and got scared. They knew the only way to stop us was by arresting our people. So I did what I do best. <sighs> I sat home and ate some chips, feeling like a loser. I mean, my people were getting arrested. They were getting killed in Palestine, and I couldn't do anything about it. And now it was Eid. I think about this. Right here, right? Look at this, you see this? It's Eid, it's Eid, but we don't forget about our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Never that, never that. But the Palestinian brothers and sisters never left our thoughts or our hearts. And in all honesty, this Eid didn't even feel right. I mean, how could we have a day of celebration when it felt like a day of sadness? But one thing that was dope about this Eid was how most of the Muslim Ummah celebrated Eid together. You think that Palestine will be free or receive any help without us uniting as an Ummah and us uniting our Iman to pray to Allah and turn back to Him? You're mistaken. Now after the Eid Salah, it was time for me to refuel myself and give da'wah to the Starbucks employee. Jazakallah khair. Allah rewards you. Thank you. Eid Mubarak. Do you know it's Eid today? It's Eid today. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak? You know the Muslims, they were fasting for 30 days for Ramadan. And uh, today the fast has finished. We finished completing. So today's Eid. Okay. Yeah, and kids are like off from school and stuff too. So I'm just letting you know. Not a yeah, and free Palestine. You already know. Wait, did my money just go to support the Zionist agenda by shopping at Starbucks? All I gotta say is fake Muslim Starbucks employee prank coming soon. But it was time for me to refocus. No more eating chips in my bathrobe. I was just informed of another Palestine protest about to take place. So you know I had to get ready. One of the major flaws that I seen at these protests was that people didn't have an opportunity to pray their salah. So this time around, I wanted to make sure that I can help facilitate people to pray their salah. Also, there's a lot of non-Muslims at these protests. So I figured maybe this is a da'wah opportunity. Let me pack up some Qur'ans. But there's non-Muslims there. Why not give them a Qur'an? Why not educate them about Islam? You know, that's what we're here to do, da'wah. So me and the Zamzam boys headed to Bay Ridge, Brooklyn for the Palestine protest so that we can support our brothers and sisters. Free ourselves from the dunya. Make sure that we free ourselves to wake up for our salah. It's important. Let's go, baby. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is the march is about to happen. Let's go. All the brothers and sisters over here. Let's go. This is the media. We need to control the media narrative by being over here. What I found when I got there blew me away. Our Jewish brother's dedication to fight Zionism was unreal! Of course. Of course, of course. You walk two and a half hours to support us. Two and a half hours to support us. The real Jews over here, mashallah. Thank you. Thank you so much, real Jews. It's not about religion at this point. It's not. It's about the truth and staying away from oppressions. The protest had commenced, but it was time for Usr. And now it was time to unleash our master plan. Project Protest Prayer. This is SubhanAllah. May Allah reward these people. MashaAllah, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is the real freedom. But this was just the beginning. In a matter of just one week, we were able to facilitate these many people to start praying at the protest. This is it. This is it. This is the real. This is how you really protest, right? A peaceful protest. Salah. Salah. Subhanallah. This is it. All right, time to join now. Time to join. And since I already had everyone's attention after the Salah, I decided to give them an Islamic reminder. We have to pray our Salah. Amen. Amen. We will not achieve success without our Salah. Preach. So please do not abandon the Salah. May Allah reward every single one of you. Allahu Akbar! After that prayer was done, there was no way that we were going to go on this protest and not glorify our Lord. Allah! Muhammad Rasulullah! La ilaha illallah! 
Muhammad Rasulullah. But we weren't just out here protesting. We were actually speaking to people and explaining Islam to them. I mean, take a look at this Jehovah Witness. When he understood what Islam was all about, he took a shahada. Protest with my brother right here. Just accepted Islam. Why? Because he believes in the oneness of Allah, correct? He believes that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah and he believes in the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. That makes him a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Welcome our brother in Islam. But we weren't done yet. After speaking to Brother Desmond, we then met this Catholic brother who became interested in Islam after we spoke to him and then he took a shahada, alhamdulillah. Dawa don't stop. Another shahada, alhamdulillah. This is Brother Alex. Brother Alex, do you bear witness and believe that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah? And do you believe the Prophet Muhammad is the servant, slave, and messenger of Allah? Congratulate him. Celebrate him. No, no, no. We weren't just leaving them alone after the Shahada. In fact, we remained in contact with them. And we are now currently, alhamdulillah, mentoring them. And now the brother is even reading the Quran for the very first time. Alhamdulillah. Go for it. Rabbil. Yep. Oh, mashallah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After we had set the streets on fire with our spreading of Tawheed, it was time to march and let the world know what we were all about. This was it. No more shenanigans with the Zamzam boys. But I'm going to be honest with you. I couldn't help but feel sad. Because look how strong we are when we unite for the sake of Allah. Yet, this is not how filled the houses of Allah look. Amazing, mashallah, look at all this love. All this love. But imagine if this is how our masjids were filled up. Imagine if this is how we traveled to Palestine. Imagine if we actually cared about Salah this much and came out and lined up in the masjid, we'd be in a better place. So we marched, we raised awareness, and we glorified our Rabb, Takbir! But time was dwindling down. Maghrib time was approaching. And we wanted to not only obey our Lord, but also raise the most amount of awareness for our cause. Watch out. Let that car go. Maghrib in the highway. Guys, we're in the middle of the highway. This is really happening. This is really happening. This is the vibe. This is what New Yorkers do, bro. This is what we're not going to give up on Palestine. We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. But this is what did it. This sole act of ours is what triggered the police to shut everything down. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. We're exiting peacefully. Also, they were probably triggered because of this car. I mean, look at this thing. How many people are you going to fit in a trunk? I mean, damn. Let me jump on. Let me jump on. But as you stare into the depths of this beautiful soul, don't forget to smash that like button, baby! Now we were forced to leave the highway, and rightfully so. And our night was now coming to an end. This is the end of the night. Gotta pray Isha though, gotta wake up for Fajr. You really wanna help? Wake up for Fajr. Make sure you're in the masjid for the Fajr. That's what you gotta do. Smokey, we out here, Bismillah. You already know. I mean, what a perfect way to end our night. We raised awareness, and me and the Zamzam boys were able to pray our salah in the masjid. Remember, Protesting is something that can be highly effective. But what's even more effective is your salah. So if we want to truly protect Palestine and Al-Aqsa, which was our first Qibla, by the way, let's remember to protect the miracle of salah that was given to us from that Qibla. Huge shout out to my partners, Quranly. Guys, please download their app. Link is in the description. And once again, free Palestine.